Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Arizona State Sun Devils and the TCU Horn Frogs. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Horn Frogs are facing very tough opposition tonight. Nick, what's the key to them winning? The keys tonight are very simple. First of all, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Next, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. And lastly, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Down inside. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. He hits the shot. Looking for a good shot. Now trying to feed the low block. Perfectly executed. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. The power forward with the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artek just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Turns it over. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> there it is. Jam City. What a high riser! He's the elevator man! There he is, strips the ball loose. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Down he goes, and no foul called either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. On the outside, the center takes the pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. TCU have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Great anticipation defensively. The point guard gets the pass. He missed on the steal, and that's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. The center gets the ball. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He steps up to the line. Hits the first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Moving it around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Now they reset the play. Basketball IQ, really important. Know what a good shot is. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Trying to feed the low. He makes the block. Look at that spacing. The frustration right there. The point guard takes the feed. Go 
Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Spencer is pretty fired up and excited. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Puts it up, looking for contact. TCU are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. For two, doesn't go. Trying to draw some contact. They go into the low block. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Both teams looking to get things going here. They strip them in a basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there, baby. the ball loose then chasing it down good job defensively they just won't get many openings pressure on the basketball showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup steals a pass he keeps his dribble as they reset The ball goes out of bounds. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Buried it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He launches the bomb. Gets it to go. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. They work it around the perimeter. Low block. From downtown. Great shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps in. And he scores despite the hack. away the pass he stays in control until they regroup the offense looking for a good shot he dials long distance awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J gave it up picked out of the air They work the perimeter. Got an open look if he wants it. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. This is worth the second look.
that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He intercepts it. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. He rejects it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Look at this, Mr. Nestle. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. The Horn Frog's composure dick is dropping right now. That could be damaging to their overall performance. They've lost their composure, and that's a no-no. Ten on the shot clock. He puts up the three ball. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. Intercepted. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Jumped in front to take it away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From three-point land. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Both teams looking to get things going here. Number 33, pump fakes. There they come with a double team to stop it. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. We get another look at it in the lane. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Line, they'll bring it out on top. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Arizona State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams. And as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. In the paint. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He gets the bucket to fall. Michael, watch that one again all night long. Goes up for two. They still don't score. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score.
for two. Perfectly executed. The replay will give us a better look. Takes the pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. He puts it in with contact and all. Another turnover. And they're not talking about the turnovers either. Trying to draw the foul. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Look at that spacing. High post flashes. Gave it up. Goes up for two. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, knocking him down with ease, Brad. On the inside. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. off the lazy pass. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Leans in. Patterson makes the finger roll. Too many dribbles and a steal. He shoots from the top of the key. It's good. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. Patterson pound. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. The Horn Frogs go to the line for the first time in this game. It's that one. Defense! 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 Defense!
goes for two. Perfectly executed. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Good fake. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Way off target. <laughs> Takes the pass in the paint. Up, easy one. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Basket falls despite the contact. spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah that helps opportunity for two for one and he scores despite the hack and he'll kick it back outside he looks for three that's good. Shot clock is dead. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Can't get the shot to drop for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. At the end of the first half, the Sun Devils are trailing by six. TCU is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Dick, you've talked about the pressures of NCAA tournament play, and here it is in the second half, and you know it's building on both these teams. I'll tell you what, momentum's so important. You've got to try to go on a little spurt now because anybody who gets the lead is really putting the pressure on the club that would be behind. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Nice fake. He dials long distance. 
Oh, yes! The Horned Frogs are up by seven. Looking around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. He attempts the three. Rims out. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Dumps it in. And he'll kick it back outside. He attempts the trifecta. He nails the shot. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Looking it around the perimeter on the inside. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Defensive transition's been very good. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He fakes the shot. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Mercer handles the feed. He looks at the hoop. They work the perimeter. Strips the ball. They're off into transition. TCU are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and see if they can force a timeout. Now they work it around the perimeter. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. In the post. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Makes the second. The Sun Devils are down by eight. Momentary look from three-point land. They run it up into transition. Goes up for two. What should they do here, Dick? I've called a timeout to see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. With the fake. For the deuce. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Spencer receives the ball. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Oh, Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Gave it up. The center handles the pass. Great shot. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The Sun Devils are down by 12. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well.
Fakes it. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Atat just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The Horn Frogs have a mismatch in the post. They need to get them the ball there. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Strips the ball. Almost lost a basketball. He shoots from left of the circle. He gets it to go. <laughs> Tries for two. Perfectly executed. This could be a potential blowout, Dick, if they don't cool off. And this could turn into a major league blowout if they're not careful. There's the screen up on top. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Nice high post screen. With a deep shot from outside. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. Goes up for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Entry pass in the paint. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He puts up the tray, gets it to fall. Working it around the perimeter. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Picks off the pass. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Look out. Defender nailed by a screen. Moving it around the perimeter. Defense giving some room. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Arizona State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? On the outside. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the dribble, gives it up. The turn of fadeaway jumper. 
I'll tell you, you got to be exceptional to make that shot because a lot of coaches don't like it because you're going away. You're not in rebound position. You better make it count. Picked out of the air. Now they work it around the perimeter. And now there's a whistle and a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. High post flasher is open. From right in the circle, way off target. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He shoots from the top of the circle. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow steals the ball this defender is resilient still applying pressure that spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Definitely worth another look, Brad. Gave it up. Intercepted. They get out on the break. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes the pass in the paint. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Take a look right here. He takes it away. Here they go into the break. For the bucket. Two with a lay-in. That's a 10 nothing run. Jumps into the defender. The lane. He shoots from outside. He nails the bucket. That's why we have instant replay cameras. And a momentary look from three-point land. Pushes it up. He unloads a three. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Tries for two. 
Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He goes with a jump hook. He misses it. He grabs the board. The small forward receives the pass. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Goes up for two. TCU are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. For the deuce, he's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if he were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. For the bucket. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. In the paint. Takes it off him. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Takes the pass in the paint. They move it into the front court. Robs him of the ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. On the dribble, gives it up. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Double team. He shoots from long range. He gets the bucket to fall. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off.
lets it go. Sinks it. Pushes it. They work it around the perimeter. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Too physical. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. I think they're trying to make a statement. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. It looks like they're going to slow the game down by fouling, Brad. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Turnovers, Dick. They just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. Makes the second shot. They really need a score here to turn this into a two-possession game. Just about ready for play to resume. Shot clock is dead. He shoots off the rim and no good. And they back it out. Now they reset the play. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, in those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Gets his second. You don't need the desperation three. It's a two-possession game. get back to the action the lead is five what happens now dick well this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game and yet another foul hey now it's a matter of clock management Brad. they have to foul in order to get back in this game at the free throw line opportunity 
Makes the front end of the one and one. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. One would assume so. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. Double team now, bad angle. He goes to the free throw line. First shot is good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Misses the second shot. Timeout on the floor. It's a close one. The trigger fingers are getting itchy, baby. This one's too close to call. around here for the moment Dick. I don't think so but we'll wait and see Brad with the big shot misses the tray all right Dick this one's over one team moves on one team's got to go home and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament well the better team won because they protected the basketball they made sure they converted on the free throw line they did all the little intangibles we talked about and that was the difference in the game TCU played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler.